So the very first step that we need to perform is uh, first we need to have our stock data. Obviously, uh, without any kind of data, we won't be able to perform the analysis, right? Then we uh, we would be computing the buy and hold returns, which is uh, which we would uh, calculate in terms of daily returns. Then we need to create rules. So what are these rules? So let's say if you are building a strategy based on some fundamental data, for example, uh, if you are considering uh, going long or going short based on P ratio, then in that case you would be uh, calculating those P ratio, right? Or you should have the uh, that data ready with you. In case of say, uh, if you uh, if you want to uh, create a model based on machine learning, then uh, this create tools will basically uh, encapsulate that part that creating a machine learning model. Or say if you are from a technical background and you want to automate your uh, automate your technical analysis uh, strategy based on technical indicators, those creating technical indicators will go in this third uh, uh, third step that is the creating rules, right? Then once we have those rules ready, once you have the fundamental or the base uh, based on which we can create the trading signals, we will go ahead and create these trading signals. And once we have those trading signals, what we can, uh, we will we will basically compute the last step, that is the computing the strategy returns. So to do so, uh, what I will do is, I, I will uh, right jump into the Excel, uh, which is, as I said, uh, a very handy tool to uh, <coughs> uh, backtest a given hypothesis or back, uh, given uh, trading idea, right? So let's go ahead. And here I have a strategy that is based on the moving average crossover. So what this moving average crossover really does is it tries to capture momentum in the, uh, in the market. So for example, let's say uh, I want to capture, I want to go long on a stock when it is uh, trending upwards. And I want to go short when other particular stock is going downwards, right? So I all I can really employ all, all I can really employ is a moving average, right? Uh, this moving average basically tells me, okay, if the stock is going up, the moving average will go up. And as the moving average will go up, I simply need to buy. And on the other end, if the uh, moving average moving average is going down, I simply need to uh, sell it. Correct. So let's go step by step. Uh, so the first step is to fetch the historical data. Uh, so here uh, I have uh, structured uh, market generated open, high, low, close, and adjusted close and volume data, right? Uh, so this is my, until, uh, until this point, I have my first step. So again, uh, the back testing period uh, remains the same. That is from 2005 to 2020, which is approximately 15 years. Then I would go ahead and compute this second step that is uh, calculate the buy and hold returns. So I am again here uh, employing percentage percentage returns, uh, which will allow me to calculate the geometric, geometric returns in the last step. Once I am done with the uh, first two steps, uh, I can go ahead and create rules. So again, as uh, we discussed, uh, we want to uh, we want to capture the momentum in the market. So what I will really do is right. I will create those two rules based on which I will create my trading signals, right? So these two particular uh, columns shows that particular rule. So uh, all I'm doing is I'm calculating the average of last 10 periods, right? Now, while calculating uh, these things, I need to make sure that there is no any kind of uh, look ahead bias or survivorship bias. Right. So uh, on the rolling basis, I will calculate the 10 day moving average year, which I call it as SMA. And uh, for LMA, which is my long moving average, I would be taking our uh, last 20 day, uh, 20 period prices. Correct. So these SMA and LMA are basically shown uh, by these parameters. However, as of now, these two parameters are static and uh, changing these two parameters won't have any <clears throat> uh, any changes on this SM and LMA, right? So once I do so, uh, I will be calculating uh, SM and LMA on last 15 years of data, uh, which is my third step here, create rules. Now on the fourth step, I would create uh, generate the trading signals. So uh, 
my trading signal really goes this way if the sma is a uh, greater than lma i would simply go long otherwise go short right so basically it will show me if the prices are rising then i need to go long if the prices are falling i need to go short and here in the signals column uh by one i mean go long and minus mean minus one shows go short correct uh all i really do here is like i employ a very uh, simple if condition and i check if this particular value is greater than this value then i simply go long else i simply go short right once i have these uh trading signals in place all i need to do is I need to calculate the strategy returns and what I do is like I calculate my strategy uh, returns that is uh, multiplying my daily returns with my yesterday's signal correct once I do so I would be able to calculate my strategy returns so this is uh, the fifth step fifth step that I am performing now once I do so I would go ahead and compute the strat uh, strategy returns which is nothing but uh, the gross returns so if I would have deployed this particular strategy, it would have returned me 555% uh, in the last uh, 15 years. And if I uh, deduct my invested capital, then it shows me that I would have uh, earned almost or yielded 455%. In other words, uh, a $1 invested would become a uh, $5.55 in last 15 years. All right, perfect now what do you guys think okay so the strategy parameters that i have chosen here right are the uh, are these the best parameter or i can do anything uh, here to make uh, make this strategy uh, more fruitful anyone uh so someone asked what is the uh, long or short or how much quantity so i uh, it's uh you can consider it one uh, uh one share or one load or whatever so uh, essentially it's one unit all right so what i can do here is i can go ahead and uh someone asked how i uh how how i arrived to these gross returns so these gross returns are nothing but the geometric returns uh, of the strategy returns that i had uh earned over these 15 years yeah so it is simply nothing but the uh percentage percentage returns plus one uh, and the product of all those periods so yeah that's correct so as one of our uh friend is telling us that we need to optimize these parameters right all right so let's do that so what i can do is i can go ahead and i can create a new uh, new sheet wherein i have the similar data here but now this time but now this time i need to make a change in change in a way i calculate my sma and lma right so now in uh, this time i need to make my formulas so that it becomes adaptive of uh, this control panel here so based on these parameters that i include here it should generate the it should calculate moving average for that particular periods correct all right so to do so what i have done simply is i have simply <coughs> use the uh, row function and the offset function from the excel to make it dynamic correct so this essentially allows me to uh, control these uh, the calculation of uh, moving averages uh, these two averages from these two numbers here so if i say change it to 11 and if uh, to 23 all i can see here is like this my returns are being uh, returns are changing correct so again uh, so yeah so that is the first step that uh, in order to optimize our strategy we need to first change our uh, code such that it adapts to the uh, dynamic version of the uh, parameters so once i implement those things all i can do is i can go ahead and make use of a data table uh, which is available under the what if analysis and data table here right this data table allows me to create a table something like this right so this table essentially shows me that okay uh, based on 
these two parameters that is 10 and 20 right if 10 is if the combination of 10 and 20 is yielding me this particular result that is 555 percent right what parameter should i choose so that it maximizes these returns correct so all like all we can see is like this is my sma value and this is my lma value and all it shows me is that if i choose either one as an sma parameter and 25 as my lma parameter it will yield me 736 percent returns so let's go ahead and take uh, update those values so i will update my sma to either one and i will update my lma to be 25 and yes i can see that uh, once i choose these two parameters right i am getting the yield of 736 percent which is far greater than uh, 10 and 20 uh, a parameter uh, which was yielding me 555 percent right perfect so uh, let me uh, let me see uh, if i have received anything here how do you work out sma and lma uh, so as i said uh, i deploy uh, offset and row function and based on those things i calculate the average uh, where do you get all this data from uh, so i get this uh, structured data from a uh, data vendor in this when we have taken along uh, we have uh, yes that is uh, so as i uh, discussed earlier uh, here we are considering only one quantity so that is again uh, in case you want to go for 10 quantity you can simply go ahead and calculate those returns uh, with that particular uh, leverage right what is the strategy returns so the strategy returns is this is here right so this is my gross returns and this is my uh, net returns uh, strategy returns is nothing but uh, the uh, calculations uh, that is the daily returns multiplied by the previous signal right so if i enter position on monday i would be able to calculate my uh, result on tuesday and thereafter right i cannot calculate my returns uh, if i enter a position on monday uh, monday close i cannot calculate returns on my monday close itself i need to start calculations from tuesday all right so yeah so this is good and fine however if we really see that okay uh, if i go ahead and uh, infer that okay uh, this kind uh, this this is the strategy that i want to work with right so now i would say that okay yeah uh, or, okay uh, this uh, this is in the, on this uh, on one single stock right now what if i want to replicate this same strategy on multiple stocks in that case uh, i need to download all those data and perform this kind of uh, analysis are uh, in different shades, right? However, uh, one might say that that is not uh, efficient. That is computationally and uh, effort-wise as well. Correct. So, uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the other way around, right? How we can make this kind of analysis in much efficient way and in less efforts? So let's see that. So again, uh, uh, as we discussed, right? Why we uh, why we should use Excel? because it is being used across the industries right so all of your colleagues all of your mentors with whom you're sharing your uh, research or uh, say so they all uh, they all are highly likely that they are aware with this spreadsheet and they uh, all know how uh, what you have done uh, excel also has a comparatively smoothing uh, smooth uh, smoother learning curve so uh, if you want to perform such kind of analysis it should not take much and again uh, as we have seen here right it's a very handy tool to test our hypothesis so again uh, based on the preliminary analysis that we had performed uh, i wanted to check whether uh, if i deploy something uh, something like moving average crossover so it basically gave me the idea how my analysis would have performed so again i can see that my analysis might perform in a positive manner so again uh, it made me an it, it enabled me to perform this kind of analysis very easily but what if i want to say include one more parameter here or, or one more technical indicator or say uh, what if i want to uh, if i want to basically replicate this particular strategy on five different stocks right or on a universe of stock so in that case i need to perform all this kind of analysis again and again which is not quite evident and which is not uh, efficient as well correct so uh, what is the 
what is the workaround right or what is the uh, or what are the other process that are uh, where excel for source right so first so let's uh, before we go to the workaround let's discuss what are the different things that uh, we might face uh, issue with excel right so excel uh, cannot uh, really handle the large data so let's say i uh, here i have a daily data for past 15 years but what if i have say one minute data for past 15 years right uh, that would be almost like uh, 1.5 million rows, right? So in that case, uh, say Excel would uh, reach its limitations, right? So in that in such scenarios, uh, it uh, the Excel might not be the correct tool. Uh, the second thing is like Excel is not meant to uh, say handle the unstructured data. What do I mean by the unstructured data? Uh, all the data which does not come in tabular data, uh, tabular format like uh, news data or the sentiment data or i would say uh, twitter uh, tweet data right uh, based on which i can perform a sentiment analysis uh, the second thing is that as uh, the size of the data increases it keeps uh, getting slower and slower right so again uh, for a quant researcher it might be one of the uh, pain uh, it, 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 it might be one of the uh, issues or it might be one of the pains uh, which we not want to uh, trap in. Second, uh, as we discussed, right, if I want to backtest a uh, given strategy on multiple stuff, I need to perform all all these operations again and again. Yes, of course, we can deploy uh, macros and all such things, but again, uh, there uh, it would involve uh, some kind of middle work again as well. Uh, one of the main uh, things that I am cognizant about is like if we, uh, if I want to say uh, if I have yeah, if I have third, a third parameter and I want to optimize all those three parameters, uh, I need to basically choose a combination of two pairs. Then I need to uh, choose third pair. So essentially, I need to perform uh, such kind of data data table activities again and again uh, as the number of variables increases here, which is quite uh, not efficient. Correct. And again, uh, Excel is not really a tool to deploy or uh, say implement some really advanced techniques like machine learning or a time series analysis and all such things 